copy into the clipboard and then I can move over to Word or any word processing document program. Uh, I got this ready beforehand. You'll notice that uh, if you follow along the instructions in the first lab manual, all of these elements are mentioned. I titled it the first lab report Caffeine affects the heart rate of introductory biology students. There are two ways to do a title of a lab report. One of them is to offer a conclusion of the entire lab report, and the other way is to describe it in terms of the variables. Another really good title here would be the effect of caffeine on the heart rate of introductory biology students. But since I know that effect, I could put it in the title. Even better, I know that the effect is positive. So why don't I say that caffeine increases the heart rate of introductory biology students. Once I get into my document, I can paste my graph. And the program will paste the entire thing from Microsoft Excel into Microsoft Word. Now, you notice that we don't have a title at the top and everything's pretty clean. Now that we've pasted it in though, I see that there's a box around my graph and I need to get rid of that. The only way to edit something like this is to go back to Excel. I'm going to click on the chart area, format chart area, and I'm going to tell it that I don't want a line. No line. Now I'm going to select the whole graph again, copy it, go back to Word. I can delete this one by pressing delete after it's selected and I'll paste my new graph in. There, that looks pretty good. On the next line, you can start the figure caption. You're only doing one, you're only presenting one figure in this report. If you were presenting more than one, they would each be numbered in sequence and this would be the first one. Right now it's good form, I think you should include figure one. Give it a title. In this case, I'm going to use the dependent and independent variable in my title. The effect of caffeine from Red Bull on the heart rate of an introductory biology student. The format that we're looking for includes the figure one to be put into italics. Um, that's something that's defined by the uh, APA format or American Psychological Association format and I think that it's good for you to get into the proper format from the very beginning. What I have here is the, is the basic necessities of your assignment. I could print this out right now and hand it in and I would get a pretty good mark. There are some other things that you could add to the caption including how the data was collected, where it was collected, what year, um, under what circumstances. Sometimes that data should go into your materials and methods, sometimes into your results section, but since you're not writing them this time, you could add a little more information to your caption. So that's a quick introduction to how to write or how to prepare a figure for biology lab reports, and I hope that that helped.